Hey everyone, so today I have a very highly requested video. I'm currently sat here on the floor of my living room. It is so hot here in the UK at the moment. I really wanted to film this video, but I couldn't put my lights up and everything because it's honestly too, too hot for that. So sorry if this isn't lit well or anything, but yeah, it is absolutely boiling. So this is my current Disney bag. This is a Primark bag for those of you who may recognize it. Um, they did this design for a while, but they've now got this one with the pocket on the front and it's got this really cute little mickey head that you can turn to open up the front so this is what i'm currently using it is a rucksack um which is actually much more practical than a shoulder bag which kind of digs in and can be uncomfortable so this is absolutely great and the first thing you'll see on the side here is my um magic band um what keeper i think it's called yeah magic keeper something like that um so this is the little puck that comes out of the middle of the magic band 2 the original magic bands this doesn't come out this is only in the, the magic band 2 but that's what you get now and um, they no longer sell the magic band 1 and i always have this on here in case i run out of the room and forget to bring my magic band that way i can always get into the parks always do my first purses because i've got about 10 magic bands now or something crazy so yeah i always keep this one attached to the bag just in case so that I always have that with me. So I have everything in here, so I'm just gonna take things out one by one and show you what I take with me to the parks. First up is my phone. I never ever want to forget this. I do a lot of Instagram photos, Facebook updates, and things like that while I'm in the parks. Um, and this is what I really use to take photos. I just use my camera for video. So I definitely wouldn't want to forget my phone. I don't know about anyone else. If I forget my phone when I go anywhere, it just feels like... I panic. I know that's stupid, but we get so kind of used to having our phones with us. So yeah, I do not feel comfortable without my phone anywhere, but especially in the parks, that would really be a bummer because I need to take lots of pictures. So phone is number one thing. Next is my camera. And this is the camera I use for vlogging. It's the Canon G7X. And you can see it's little hairstyle here. This is actually to keep the wind noise out of the microphone. It works so well. It's really inexpensive on Amazon. So I will link this below I will also link the camera um, this camera is so popular for vlogging because it's got great image stabilization and also it has the flip up screen so you can see exactly what you're doing when you're vlogging and it's facing you so that's what I use there and this tripod is the I mentioned it in my recent Q&A it's the Manfrotto pixie tripod I will also link that below um, but this is my little setup that I take with me to the parks next up I have some wipes and I always like to have some of these with me whenever you're eating like ice cream or drinks that might be sticky or snacks anything like that it's good to be able to wipe your hands if you're not immediately near somewhere to go and wash them and also before you eat anything um, it's always good to wipe your hands then as well so these are definitely a must then I have this little coin purse this is just from Primark it says 80s mix on there it's like a little cassette which I thought was cute and I always have this instead of my main wallet which is too big and bulky so in here I just normally keep my actual cash in there and um, any change or anything that I've got and I've got somewhere else where I keep cards which I'll show you in a second so this is just really for cash next up sunglasses never ever forget your sunglasses when you're in Florida the first ever time I went I did forget them and then I had a headache for days because I couldn't find anywhere to buy a pair um, that was not ridiculously expensive so yeah always remember to bring sunglasses these are from Primark most of the ones I wear are really cheap because I break them and lose them I am not someone who can spend a lot of money on sunglasses it would be a total waste because yeah I normally break them these have actually survived several trips to Disney now which is quite good but always remember to bring them the next thing i have is my passport now this might seem like a weird thing to carry around the reason i bring it is because if you want to drink alcohol disney are very strict on id they won't accept just a uk driving license on its own usually now i have had cast members who will accept it some won't um, sometimes they will accept your driver's license and a copy of your passport um, to be honest it just stresses me out trying to think about what they may or may not accept so i just bring my passport if you are someone who tends to lose things and leave your bag laying around or something then maybe don't do that I generally am pretty good I've never lost my bag or anything before at Disney so I just bring my passport with me but just be aware if you do want to drink alcohol they generally won't accept a UK driving license by itself 
um, they do want to see your passport or at the very least a copy of your passport as well. The next thing I have in here is deodorant and I do have a little travel size somewhere but I couldn't find it so um, this is my normal sized one. Always bring some deodorant, it gets so so hot when you are in Orlando, it is unbelievable and you don't really want to smell, it's not cool when other people do and you're around them. Nobody wants to be that person. I don't want to be that person. So always I bring some deodorant with me just in case I need to refresh throughout the day. I generally don't bring any makeup to the parks with me. Whatever I've put on in the morning is just what I have on all day. The only thing that I do bring is a little lipstick because obviously that does come off. So just in case I want to take Instagram photos or anything like that, I just do want to top up my lipstick. So I bring that with me. And the only other thing I bring are these little blotting papers um, that you can just take out and just blot your nose and everything where you get a bit shiny and sweaty um, and that just kind of makes you look a little bit less melted with your makeup so I do bring those two little items but that's the only makeup stuff I bring. I also have some paracetamol in here. In terms of things that I carry around first aid wise generally I would just bring some painkillers um, blister plasters, I don't have any of those in there at the moment, but I normally would bring some. And usually I bring something like Gaviscon, just in case you have overdone things and you get indigestion or something. And I do normally have anti-diarrhea tablets because, you know, you never know. And if you take any prescription medication, don't forget to bring that as well, because it's so annoying if you have to go back to your room in the middle of the day because you have forgotten something super important like that. So just any medications that you might need. The next thing I have is hand sanitizer and I'm a little bit obsessed with using this now when I'm in the parks. I have picked up a couple of nasty bugs while I've been away. One was like a cold, a really, really awful cold and I've also had a sickness bug. There are just so many people in the parks in Orlando. It is very, very hot and there are obviously a lot of germs around. You're touching surfaces all the time like handrails up and down stairs or when you're getting on and off of rides anything like that where people could have left germs and it's just really really not good it's so easy to pick something up so before you eat anything if you're eating a snack if you're eating lunch just use some of this and um, if you know that you've touched like say if you're going up and down stairs and you touch railings and stuff like that just use some of this it's well worth it it is awful if you pick up a bug or something and then it can ruin your vacation so hand gel just use it every time you think of it. Next up, a very important is sunscreen. And I don't have my regular sunscreen. I normally just take like a small factor 30 sunscreen to put on throughout the day. And I put some on before I leave the room. I do also have my Malibu hair and scalp protector. So this is what you can spray onto your hair parting. I always get burnt there. If um, anyone's got thinning hair on top or anything, you can just spray this on and it will stop you from getting burnt. I will leave a link to this below and all of the other things that I've shown you, if I can find a link to it, I will put that below as well. Next up I have this little card holder and this is where I keep my annual pass to Disney. I've got my universal one in here and normally I would also have my license. Whenever you use your annual pass to get discount in any of the stores they like to see your license as well so um, or just some kind of ID so I keep that in there and then I can just grab this anytime I need it. I do also keep a nail file in here because I do have quite long nails and if you kind of like break one or something it's super annoying so I keep a file just in case I need it. I I also have this little pouch which holds memory cards. It's got lots of slots in there. Obviously I don't use them all, I just use a few. And also it, you can keep your batteries in there. It's big enough for me to keep four batteries, which is quite good. So I normally have four spare ones in here and one in each of the cameras. because so I've got two cameras, so I've got six batteries in total. And this is just perfect for keeping everything together and I can just grab it easily. And then once the batteries are used, I put them in the pocket in my bag so I don't get the used ones and the charged ones confused. Used. I also have some chewing gum in here. So just a note about chewing gum. Firstly, if you do chew gum regularly, you will need to bring your own because they don't sell it anywhere at Disney for good reason because they don't want chewing gum stuck all over their beautiful parks and walkways. I'm sure none of you would ever spit chewing gum on the ground at Disney, but that is why they don't sell it anywhere. I don't really chew gum regularly, but sometimes obviously you might have had coffee or something and you just want to freshen up. And the final thing I have is one of my main survival items when I'm in the parks and it is my little fold away fan. So this is just one of the paper fans that you can get on eBay. I think you can get them 
them on Amazon. I will link them below if I can find them. They cost just like a couple of pounds or a couple of dollars, they're not expensive. But this is what I've found to be the most effective thing for keeping me cool. I've had battery powered fans, I've tried loads of different things, but this works perfectly if you are just kind of sat in a show or you're just walking around. This really, really is a lifesaver because sometimes you get overwhelmed by the heat and get so sweaty and hot, it folds away to practically nothing in your bag, but I cannot go around the parks without this. It is my absolute number one thing that I need in my bag. And the one thing that I do bring with me always that I don't have with me at the moment because it's in my owner's locker out in Orlando is my fuel rod. And a fuel rod is a portable charger which you can use with anything that has a USB. I basically use it for my phone so you just need to remember to bring your phone cable with you. And the way it works, you can buy one of these from the many machines in Disney. They have them in the parks, the resorts, Disney Springs, they are all over the place now. They cost around $30 which sounds expensive. Um, normally if you Google um, fuel rod discount code, you can find something online, a code somewhere to get you a couple of dollars off. Um, but once you've bought it, you can exchange it at any of the machines once it's run out and get a fresh one. So even if you need to change it over several times in a day or whatever, you can swap them in and out as much as you want. I'll insert a bit of footage here of me swapping one over. You just put it into the machine and out comes a fully charged one so you're ready to go again. And for me, I use my phone a lot during the day. I sometimes do live streams, sometimes I'm doing stuff on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. I just use my phone all the time when I'm in the parks and definitely like one charge overnight would not be enough. So the fuel rod is perfect and I would definitely recommend getting one. I've had mine for a couple of years now and like I say, I can just swap it in and out as much as I need to. So that is everything I have in my Disney park bag currently. I do have an old version of this video somewhere but I wanted to do an updated one to show you what I currently use because some things I was just finding I didn't need and I've added some extra things that I have been using so I hope you found this helpful for your planning if it's your first time going or you just wanted some ideas for things that you might not have already thought of and on that note if you have anything that you take to the parks any essentials that I haven't mentioned definitely put them in the comments below because then other people can read the comments and get some ideas that I may not currently have thought of and I might get some ideas of things that I might not have thought of so that's super useful to add those in the comments. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any upcoming videos and hit the bell icon as well to make sure you get notified because YouTube don't always tell you when a new video comes up unless you've hit that bell icon. And I upload a vlog every Saturday and a video like this, lots of different things, resort tours, food reviews, all kinds of things every Wednesday. And also check out my Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. I will put all the links below as well as a link to my website disneyindetail.com. As always, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.